Oh man, welcome back to the Watching Moon Queen channel, man. Yes, sir, we are back. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, man. Scroll down and hit that goddamn red button that says subscribe. And then look to the left of it and hit that like button. Post some videos every other day multiple times a day, man. You been, you might as well just join the crew. You know what I'm saying? We going crazy. You thought I was going to stop? You have been proved wrong. And if you think I'm going to stop, hey, you know, that's cool. Just make sure you watch all the videos. NBA players versus haters. Hyphen, mix 2020. Okay, so clearly this is, I'm going to assume that this is current. You know, because it says mix 2020. So, um. Hopefully, I don't see nothing I have, I've already seen before. Um, or else I'm going to thumbs down this video. Um, but yeah, man, let's go ahead and watch this, man. You're still the worst flopper in the NBA. Is it me or does Roger Rada look like that turtle named Franklin or Nick Jr.? <laughs> <laughs> Better not be copyright, man. MVP Romania. Or nobody give a damn about your 2K character, man. Damn, bro, why you flip her off? Facts. Damn. Hey, listen to me, bro. Y'all got to chill out, bro. Okay? I don't know what is wrong. I feel like it's only white people that are doing this stuff. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it's only what... Like, listen to me, bro. White people, man, y'all got to chill out. Okay? I love y'all. Y'all funny as hell. You know what I'm saying? I got nothing but love for you. Okay? But it just seems like y'all are the only one that just don't know your place. Okay? Black people don't play that. Okay? Like, y'all always trying to start something. Y'all just trying to cross into territories that you just don't belong. And that includes messing with people that you should not be messing with, man. You know? You don't just go and put your hand on a, on a grown... It don't matter what race you are. You don't go and put your hands on a grown man's head and try to... Especially this NBA player, man. Not saying that he is above and beyond, you know what I'm saying, any other human being. But, you know what I'm saying, you just, you just don't, like... Have some respect for the players, man. You there watching the games. Keep your hands to yourself, man. Why are you sitting there trying to sun the nigga? You know how disrespectful that is? You know what I'm saying? Trying to grab the nigga hat while he's just doing his thing. You know what I'm saying? Watch yourself. Keep your hands to yourself. Because black people will slap the dog shit out of you. You know what I'm saying? Keep your hands to yourself, bro. God damn, bro. And then white people want to play the victim when they get their ass beat. See? Get his ass beat and then play the victim afterwards. You see? Blabby don't play that, man. He don't play that. Like, these niggas be getting bold, bro. What's wrong with y'all? Like, what, what makes you think that you can just get bold like that? Because you, like... Like, you know how much of a pussy you look like standing up in the, in the stands? You know what I'm saying? Talking all types of crazy just because you know that the nigga can't go up there and slap the dog S word out of you. You know what I'm saying? Like, come, come on, bro. That's crazy. You know damn well you would never say nothing that crazy right in front of that nigga face. And if you would, oh, man, the consequences would be terrible. But you know, you know, you know better than that. Russell, listen to me, bro. I love you to death. I'm sorry. I don't mean to keep pausing. I love Russell with all my heart, man. Realist, like probably the realest nigga in the NBA. Do you know what I'm saying? Mess with him. He from Cali. I mess with him heavy. One thing I got a problem with with Russell is that he calls what he wears so-called fashion. Bro, Russell, whatever you be wearing is trash, bro. I'm sorry. I know my opinion probably doesn't matter to you, but I'm sorry, bro. What you're wearing is not fashion just because it's designer or whatever. It, you look retarded, bro. Your shoes, your signature shoes, 
I, I swear to God, any nigga that shows up in some Russell Westbrook's at the gym, you look, you look like what made you look at his shoe and buy that? That's probably, probably the ugliest basketball shoe I've ever seen in my life. And I'm not surprised that it came from him because the way he dresses is just so, so retarded, bro. You know what I'm saying? It's not fashion, Russell. You know? You got niggas like here, oh, out here like always saying thing and there's this fashion like always saying, like always saying my nigga, I love him. Bro. Always saying like, his, 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 always saying his little thing, uh, what's it called? Like mines, he doing his thing. His stuff looks straight, but the like, the, I can't be, bro, Russell, like, like, bro, I, I can't stand what this nigga be wearing, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? I just can't, you know? A lot of NBA players be wilding, but, you know what I'm saying, Russell just be like, dude, like, that doesn't look good, man. It don't look good. But, hey, at the end of the day, my opinion does not matter, you know? Shaq is not Shaquille O'Neal anymore. LOL. He's old and fat. If he lost weight, he'd be better, but I can't say much. I'm addicted to eating, too. Fat boys gotta stick together. I wish Giannis would stop doing the wall. Man, you know what? Whoa! Can't tell if I said Kawhi Leonard. Whoa, what the hell? What the hell was that, Giannis? That nigga said, Whoa! What, what the hell is wrong with you, bro? I know you great, but come on, man. I love Giannis, though. Whoa. Wow. Wow. No, you're not. Right. No, ain't nobody. Kawhi in his head, like, bro, ain't nobody about to see a little weak ass man. Get your, I hate niggas like this, bro. Get your little stupid ass on, bro. Like, nobody give a damn about you. You got that damn potato recording with a goddamn potato, man. But you lucky. Kawhi is really a nice guy. You know what I'm saying? He's also from Cali. Yes, sir. You know what I'm saying? Kawhi is really a nice guy. Because I would have been looking at this nigga like, bro, you know what I'm saying, bro? You know what I'm saying? Like, it's not even because, like I said, it has nothing to do with the fact that these niggas are NBA players or, or, or you know, celebrities or nothing. It's like, bro, like, respect the nigga, man. He's a human being. <clears throat> you walking up on, like, being ignorant as hell, talking about, oh, nobody give a damn, bro. You ain't about to be in no goddamn NBA, bro. It's niggas out here that's 14 on their way to the NBA before you. I'm talking about three years, I'm about to be in man. No, you, no, your ass not. I'm going to be there about three years. How you think I am? Give it a ball. Oh, shut your little twinkie ass, twinkie eating ass up. Shut up. Damn. It makes y'all happy to just be pissing pissing these players off. Y'all think that they go y'all think that they y'all think that they mess with you after that? Like they don't they don't they don't mess with you, bro. Like why are you ruining like a relationship with like, you know what I'm saying? I know you're not gonna have a relationship regardless, but it's like bro, like that if them niggas ever see you again, they not gonna they not gonna mess with you. You just completely ruined that. What's wrong with niggas, bro? What's wrong with niggas? I would say Westbrook has on his fashion, but I'd be like, he looks trash. Lol. Hey, I gotta He's agree. Already ugly as hell. <laughs> hey, that's pretty mean, right? I think I look good. I don't know about what you think, but I think I look good. Danny Green and I have a lot in common. Namely, that we both suck at basketball. Can't be trade five. Follow me here. Your weak ass, ass, candy ass, flopping. You need vaginal reconstruction surgery, twig boy. You need a big bag like your butt buddy Curry. Yourself from cheap. It's a lot. 
Right, damn. Well, get your little white ass home, bro. It's causing problems for no reason. You see how they play victim? You see how they play victim? He just hit my phone. Shut up, bro. You lucky it wasn't your face. He had every right to slap the dog ass out of you, bro. You know what I'm saying? Man, sometimes I wish that it was like, uh, sometimes I really wish that it was legal for these NBA players to beat these niggas' ass, bro. I would love to see it. I would love to see it, bro. You know what I'm saying? Hopefully some of the doctors, there's a lot of fans have really disrespected Russell Westbrook, like, you know, while he's on the court and all types of stuff. Hopefully that's in here, man. Do you know what I'm saying? Because if I've ever wanted to see anybody whoop a fan's ass, it's been Russell Westbrook, bro. You know what I'm saying? Because they be trying him. You know what I'm saying? I don't know why they be trying Russell Westbrook like that. You know what I'm saying? Breadwinner, thanks for the sub, man. Um, how the, how are you going to play the victim? He just touched my phone. Why? What? Bro, get your little stupid ass on, bro. How are you going to play victim after you were just talking crazy to him? Facts. Facts. How? What you mean? How is it? Man, I swear, bro. Some of these niggas, they, they, some of these niggas really just need to get knocked out, bro. They ain't gonna learn until they get their ass knocked out. What happened? Oh yeah, they got him up out of there quick. Why you push him like that? You stupid ass nigga. Air Gordon, stupid ass giant ass head. It's got the nerve to complain about a foul. Why does he talk like that? Look, talk like a damn nerd. These guys just say whatever. Facts. No, honestly though, Steph, like why why don't you get your teeth done, bro? I mean, if you feel like that's what you want, you know what I'm saying? Because it is kind of part of your brand and your look, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you're not insecure about it, I mean, it's not really any reason to continue to have the buck teeth. But, you know what I'm saying? Like, you are probably one of the richest basketball players in the NBA. Why not just get your teeth done? But, hey, you know, if you, if you cool like that, keep doing your thing, man. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to impress nobody. An emotional lesbian. <laughs> the Marcus will beat anybody ass. Russell Westbrook, you need to fascinate over Pronto. You look like the ugly Ninja Turtle. Yeah, that's very true. You need to be an ninja turtle. I can tell you one thing. <laughs> I'm going to say that to myself. <laughs> this nigga got down and bowed down to him. It's a little corny ass on. <laughs> Why he slap his ass? Why Andrew Wiggins look like that? Get your ass out of here, bro. What the fuck? Stop touching niggas, bro. Mike, thank you for subscribing, man.
Oh, shut up, nigga. Facts. You know what I said here? Bliss don't look like a pinto thing. Pinto thing. I hope your mom can cook. Because in the style, my mom don't like cook pinto things. Jimmy Butler looks so ugly, bruh. Look like a face you put on a totem pole, bruh. Looking like a tiki mask. <laughs> don't put that photo on my Facebook. That was definitely not what his voice. Hold up. Don't put that tiki mask, bro. Don't put that photo on my Facebook. She's not my friend. Who voice over that? It's the corniest thing ever. I definitely, if it's one person I wouldn't want to fight, it's definitely Dwight, bro. Nigga, stomp anybody talking crazy to him, bro. I don't give a damn. You can call him gay, you can call him whatever you want, but his little gay ass will stomp your ass out. <laughs> oh, man. Kyrie, who was that? What the? F Clay, man, basketball, bro. I swear, basketball is like the closest thing to fighting, man. You know what I'm saying? It could turn into a fight real quick. Some niggas be getting out of pocket. Right, this is perfect. Wesley Matthews complains about every foul. Just go eat donuts on the bench, you fat. Six percent body fat. I can't listen to Joel and Big interviews. Two seconds in, I want to do my ears shut. Well, I'll let me know when you're able to speak four languages, dumbass. Goodbye, Blake Griffin, you soft ginger hair colored Lindsay Lohan freckled fist, two headed bitch, take your ass home, bitch. Caps, huh? All right, man. Well, that's it. Make sure you guys hit the like button. Make sure you guys subscribe to the goddamn Watch McQueen channel. We're posting videos every goddamn day, multiple times a day.